I'm Chris Blakeman and I'm here with Lewis, the national educator with Brother, and he's a Dream Machine expert and is going to talk to us about the new features of the Dream Machine 2. Thanks for uh, doing this for me, Lewis. I appreciate it. Oh, Chris, no problem. I'm so glad to be able to share with you guys all of the wonderful new features that we've added to our new Dream Machine. I like to start in our home screen so that you can see some of the new advantages that we've added into our My Design Center in particular. We're going to go and pick up a shape and you'll notice that we've added new categories. So we've added more shapes. We've also added a section of open shapes that will allow you to place individual elements versus a total fill pattern. There's one other new category which allows you to import outlines that have been saved from an embroidery design. So this is going to be a huge advantage when you want to do a fill or a stipple around an embroidery, you no longer have to scan it in. You've got instant access to it. We also have the other new feature of being able to add our hoops right on this screen without going into the settings menu. I'm going to select the 14 by 9.5 hoop and I'm going to open up our shapes menu once again and pull in one of my shapes. So I'm going to tell it I want to use my wonderful little flower and tell it OK. And we want to fill these with our new fill patterns. So we're going to go into our fill section and you'll notice a little change in the screen. You have your normal satin, stipple, and then you have the new fill patterns. Let's open this and see what the different patterns look like. So it's pretty amazing, guys. It's really a lot of fun. We're gonna take it, let's choose a color so that we can see, and all we're gonna do is tap in a section. I have the capabilities of filling every section with an independent pattern, and I'll change the color so that one will show up slightly different. And you can continue on and add different patterns in different areas. It's just so cool. I love this feature and we'll fill that one in. And so now we've got a beautiful pattern and I want to change the outline because you know with your embroideries you have a fill and you have an outline. So we have new outline patterns. There's your normal screen that you're used to seeing but you now also have candle wicking as well as your diamond shape to do an outline. So I'm going to tell it I want to use that on my outline here. And I'm going to change the color so you guys can see it. And we're going to go and I'm going to tell it to fill on that one. You'll notice it turns yellow. We'll change that one. And I'm going to change that one. Then we'll go and choose one last one quickly. And we're going to tell it that we want to add it to those two sections. You'll notice the other new icon here is our next, and as opposed to preview. In this screen, I still have the capabilities. I said, oh, I don't want that any longer. A long touch will allow me to open my selections for my different fill patterns and I can choose to change them all at once with the new link icon or I can fill them individually. You can change your ratio, you can change your angle, and you can also turn the outline on and off from this screen. I'm going to say I'm pretty happy with what I have, so I'm going to go into my preview screen and it's going to now generate this into a stitch file so that I can now see all the fabulous different fill patterns. From here, we're going to go, as we have before, and put it into our embroidery edit screen. Some of the new icons you're going to notice in the embroidery edit are going to be our group and ungroup. So now, if I want to change individual elements, I can simply select on that particular element when I ungroup them and tell it OK. We'll go back and I can select different ones or I can tell it to group them all together and that will allow me to use our combined new combine icon. We also can turn this design now into an applique right from this screen. You had applique before, but it was in your embroidery screen. We now have applique in our edit screen. So I've now turned this into an applique. If I wanna use this pattern, say for example, to do a whole fill pattern of an embroidery of this as one giant fill, I can tell it to save the outline it's now copied the outline. I can tell it the distance away from that it should be, so you can kind of see it growing. And now I'm gonna save it in my design center. It's gonna ask if I'd like to import it there, and we have it in my design center now. So when I go to my design center again, this is gonna be in with your fill patterns. I now have that shape as an outline that I can use now as an applique. I can use it to fill it in. So I have a whole new embroidery from that embroidery. We can use 
use that in scan and cut as well, right? You could use that in your scan and cut if you in, in your embroidery screen. So that okay. we've had, and now it's now a whole new design. So from that one flower image, I've created so many different multiple texts. I'll kind of share with you some of the different fields that we've added to the different categories and these are done in different ratios so here you can see the same design and this is going to be the minimum and then the maximum and you can see the difference that you can come up with just by changing things such as the ratio changing the angle changing your fill pattern and designs into some of the different ones so you can see just how cool this can be it even does really beautiful with some of the different lettering patterns. This is one of your floral patterns. And with this pattern, we've put in different fill stitches. So here's your chain stitch, your candle wicking, a fill with a candle wicking. Each of these elements can be filled in differently. This is the line art, the way it started out originally. So you have so many design options now that are so cool. Some of the, there's so many other wonderful new features, including the wonderful new Wi-Fi capabilities. The Wi-Fi capabilities will allow you to go from the cloud to our BES software program and directly to the Scan and Cut 2. Please see your wonderful dealership so that you can come in and explore all these great options. You're going to be so impressed.